Bonjour à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur Blabla Katie. My name is Katie and today we're going to Blabla about how to choose what clothes to pack for France. So the plan for me is to move to France at some point this month or in September. It honestly depends on the whole visa situation. Speaking of which, if you're also going through the process of getting a long stay visa for France, you might want to check out the two videos I recently posted on the whole visa process. In this video, I'm really just going to be giving you my tips on how to decide what you're going to bring and I will be making future videos on on how to pack, how to cut down on items if you have to, and things like that. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss those, and let's get into it. First, I just want to say from a fashion perspective, don't let anybody tell you what you should or should not wear. If it doesn't have to do with weather or professionalism or respecting certain religious beliefs or cultural customs, then nobody should be telling you what you should or should not wear. I don't think that there's a problem with trying to look to people for inspiration, trying to figure out how to blend in as a local, but if you really, really enjoy wearing something and somebody's telling you, oh, nobody in France or anywhere else wears that, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb, don't let anybody tell you that. Okay, from a fashion perspective only, wear whatever it is that you like to wear. In the past, I've always been very obsessed with making sure I don't look like a tourist, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter because as soon as I open my mouth, people know I'm not from there. But I remember going into France the first time and looking up how to not look like a tourist, and I read that nobody in France wore shorts. And so I went to the south of France in August without any shorts, and I was sweating my butt off. Not to mention, I did see people walking around wearing shorts. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't worry too much about not trying to stick out. And even if you stick out, honestly, who cares? You should be allowed to wear whatever you want. Again, as long as you're not violating any religious codes or cultural customs. So fashion aside, I definitely wanna focus more on how to pack clothes for France from a practical viewpoint. The first thing that you need to do, which is so important, this is the most important step, is to analyze your situation. For example, I am obviously going to France. I'm going to be there for at least a year, but hopefully for forever. I'm going to be living in Paris, so that means that I'm definitely going to have to plan for some colder months and a lot of walking. I'll be teaching at a university level, so I also need to be conscientious of clothes that I feel comfortable teaching in and wearing when I'm at the head of a classroom. And I'm only bringing one suitcase, which means that anything that I bring has to fit into that one suitcase. I'll also be bringing a carry-on backpack and a personal item sort of tote bag. So there will be a little bit of extra space if I can't fit anything into my suitcase, but that would be ideal. So clearly all of these different details are going to matter immensely for what it is that I end up bringing. And I know as of right now that all of the clothes that I have in that closet and all the shoes that I have in this room are not coming with me. That is just not a possibility. So to minimize and decide which clothes it is that I will be bringing to France, the most important criteria that I always start with is comfort level. So this is again going to be very personal to what you feel comfortable wearing. If you're not comfortable wearing the clothes that you already have outside of your apartment or outside of your house, then the chances of you wearing them in a foreign city are very, very slim. For me, I think of all the different scenarios that I'm going to be in. So since I'll be living in Paris, I know that I'm going to be walking around a lot. There's gonna be a lot of uneven streets, probably not the best setting to bring heels. I also know, as I said before, that I will be teaching in front of a university classroom. And as a teacher, I really like to move around a lot. I'm very, very active in the classroom. So I'm always thinking about clothing that allow for a lot of movement. I also try to stay away from sheer or see-through clothing because I would feel uncomfortable in that in a professional setting, for example. And I know that I do not want to bring any clothes unless I'm comfortable in them in every scenario that I will be in. So walking out of the metro, walking into the classroom, walking into a bar, I want to feel comfortable every single time. So the next criteria is versatility, and you definitely wanna go with versatility over quantity, especially if you are also only bringing one suitcase. For me, for any article of clothing, like a t-shirt or pants or skirt, if I can't make at least five outfits out of that one article of clothing, then I just am not going to take it. For things like dresses or jumpsuits where it can be difficult to make different outfits out of them, I need to make sure, like I was just saying before, that they can fit into a bunch of different scenarios in my life. And if I can't envision myself wearing them rather frequently, then they're also out. So if you're looking for versatility, then you also have to think about the clothes that go together. And this is why it's really helpful to have a similar color palette. Personally, as you've probably noticed, I really enjoy the more basic black, white, gray, and then of course blue because, you know, jeans. I'm not really wearing many colorful things. And I'm not saying you can't wear more colorful things. You should if that's what you like to wear. But you just want to make sure that everything that you're bringing can kind of go together and having a consistent color palette will help you do that. So once you have enough clothing where you know it's comfortable, you're going to wear it and it's versatile, 
versatile enough for all of them to sort of mix and match together, then you want to make sure that you're not bringing too much of the same item. For example, I'm wearing a black t-shirt, and if I were to see three other black t-shirts in a pile, I would know, okay, we can take away at least one or two of these. So sometimes this will entail a sort of difficult decision. I have so many different pairs of black boots, but because of the way that Paris is set up, aka I will be walking a lot and the roads aren't always going to be even, and because of the whole space issue with the suitcase, I've decided that I'm really only going to bring one pair. It's going to be the most versatile, the comfiest, etc. So for me, the best way that I can really figure out, is this comfortable? Is it something that I actually want to wear? Does it mix and match? Is actually by just starting to wear the outfits that I would wear in France right now. There's this one outfit that I was actually wearing yesterday. It was this t-shirt and then a floral skirt that I have. And I love the outfit. But I realized because it's a button up skirt and it doesn't have a panel that goes under it. When I sit down, I have to sit in a specific way so that the buttons don't purse up and you can't see under my skirt. So this is something that I wouldn't have known just by looking at it. It's something that I wouldn't have known just by trying it on for like a couple of minutes. I wouldn't have known if I hadn't tried it on and had it on for a full day first. And finally, which I feel like has kind of been this thread all throughout the video, but one once you have found all of the clothes that you think are comfortable, that are versatile, that are not too similar to anything else that you want to bring, you just have to be prepared to make some cuts. This is likely something I'll have to deal with in a future video when I try packing these clothes, but it is super important as you're kind of going through the stages of figuring out what you want to bring to know that any article of clothing is not safe. At any point in time, you might have to make the decision to leave something behind. And the good news is there are clothing stores in France, so if you really, really love something and you just don't have the space for it, you can always try to find it once you're in France. But unfortunately, if you are not bringing several suitcases or if you just have way too much stuff, you're gonna have to be ready to minimize. So those are all of my tips for how to choose what clothes to pack for France. If you have any other tips that I did not mention, please feel free to put them in the comments down below. If you got any value out of this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. A la prochaine.